Hey there folks, got a new knife for you. My camera just shifted there <laughs> all by itself. Yeah, what I have here is uh, Laravo Knives. Uh, the maker of the knife is Jason Overall, the owner of Laravo Knives. This one is his prototype, the Phazon. He makes two models, I believe. Uh, he makes the Fractal, which people are in the books for, and I, I want to say that I guess people are in the books for the phase on also. So this is just an overview. I just literally just received this a couple of hours ago. And uh, just wa I'm checking it out for the first time, just like you guys are on video. So hopefully we discover it together. Um, again, this is a phase on prototype. It's uh, titanium handles. Uh, if you guys don't follow him on Instagram, you should, Laravo Knives. Now, I believe this was originally an orange peel and he I don't know if he did it for me because I'm so cool but he did this he put this satin finish on the handle I know guys it's I I, I can see you guys saying right now it's satin finish on a handle Mike what yeah it's gonna get scratched up I understand but I think he just wanted to showcase some of his skills and it's definitely beautiful and he can change it anytime guys he can make it stone wash he can make it uh, uh, I don't know orange peel again whatever but I think he just wanted to show his skills. Again, this is just a quick overview for you guys. So I just want, some people were, I'm gonna hold this still for you guys, because some people were asking uh, Jason if he could do a video on it. Uh, he posts pictures and some flipping videos, but but now it's here and it's my job to show you guys how beautiful this knife is. So again, this is the Phazon. It's a flipper model. I mean, I opened up the box and I took it out of its pouch and I was like, what? I was, I was uh, impressed, impressed right away. I was like, what is, I was, I was uh, like I am right now. I uh, I was in a lack of words, you know, I just, I was out of words. I was like, wow, this thing's just sick. You know what stood out right away? I mean, just opening it over here, I thought, oh yeah, sad fish, okay, cool, flipper, cool. Flipped it over here, I was like, whoa, look at that pocket clip. That is a beautiful sculpted pocket clip. I like that is interesting. Yeah, pretty cool. Then of course I saw the thumb hole or whatever that is, uh, just the hole, the designer blade, uh, the pivot, the custom pivot. Yeah, let's take a look at it, guys. Let's examine this. I, again, I dimmed the lights out because it is a satin finish, so I wanted to showcase how sexy this knife is I mean it's it's gorgeous it's really gorgeous so how did I discover Laravo knives a good friend of mine Greg SDD tool company SDD tool co on um, Instagram um, DM me uh, telling me about this new knife maker and I'm like so I start following uh, Jason Jason's only been making knives wait for it a year folks just a year um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's pretty impressive. It's crazy how much talent this knife community has. Um, yeah, he was just a regular guy uh, buying uh, knives and taking them apart and learning. He taught himself. He's self-taught. He's self-taught. Yeah, he's in Florida. And, and I'll be honest, when uh, uh, Jason reached out to me, he said, hey, can I send you one of my knives to check out? I'm like, yeah, sure, absolutely. You know me, I'm always welcoming new knife makers and I'm sorry Jason I wasn't really expecting that much uh, a year into the business I was like hmm, okay well, we'll check it out but was I wrong I mean oh my god this thing is beautiful it's gorgeous it's a flipper it's satin it's made for terra fanatic satin blade I mean just beautiful everything is handmade by Jason I think the only thing he doesn't do is the heat treat we which he sends over here in uh, PA. Just the whole design. So this is the phase on again. I mean, it's satin like crazy. Crazy. Look at the shape of the blade. Look at the grinds, folks. There's his logo. Laravo knives. Um, <clears throat> and again, I don't know if he's just experimenting. He put the logo there also. I'm not sure if that's his regular thing. I noticed that too. I was like, oh, two logos. Same logo, same blade. But pretty cool. Pretty cool. Just look at the handle, folks. Look at the handle. I mean, it's gorgeous. 
Look at the handle shape, the contouring, the anodizing. It's got a nice Timascus backspacer. I mean, I just can't get over how cool. Oh, if you go to his website, he does have a website, Le Revo Knives. Apparently, he makes a bunch of custom pocket clips. Uh, he had a few. I looked at him. He had a few. He could probably design one for you, maybe. Just, I mean, just the little things, the anodizing. I'm assuming the the screws are titanium because you got them anodized like this purple lavender. I mean, just a lot of uh, nice touches, you know, the the satin on the pocket clip and then the anodizing over here on the contouring, the anodizing on the relief cut. Yeah. I like the way the blade, the handle, again, folks, I'm seeing this for the first time like you guys, it's kind of got like a contoured shape to it. Very cool. Yeah. I'm digging the blade shapes, pretty cool. Uh, let's see the lockup. Lockup is pretty early. I want to talk about oh that's what I'll talk about so new knife maker right uh, he went to blade show he wrote to me he told me that uh, he got some tips from some pretty cool knife makers Stan Wilson Lee Williams to give him some uh, you know nice uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, some good criticism I guess uh, constructive criticism that's what I'm looking for uh, about what he can do better and you know he's learning of course he's gonna listen to these masters of knife making but uh, I noticed right away this is the first thing I check when uh, when I get a frame lock uh, one of the things I check and I, I, I failed to talk about in a lot of my vids and a lot of makers like um, Chris Goodwin does this too where basically the once the detent breaks there's no step and it just locks up instantly I love that I love that little 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 things right most knives have that little break boom and then the second step to lock up this doesn't it just has that one step so I think the detent ball just sits on the end and boom locks up instantly it's a good it's a good it's a good detent too it's a good strong detent which is nice because you don't want a knife opening up in your pocket you know it just sucks it in there which makes it a really good flipper all right let me do some nice macros for you guys because hopefully you guys can see i mean it's just i mean it's just sexy it is sexy i'm not in his books this is not my knife he didn't give me this knife to do a review i'm just impressed the hell i'm just lucky enough for awesome knife makers to send me their knives to check out and to share with you guys i think that's just i think i'm a pretty lucky guy i get to hang out with the wieners i get to hang eat wieners and omelets and then guys send me their cool knives to check out i'm blown away i'm blown away definitely would love to get one of his knives so jason hooked me up <laughs> no he's got a, he's got books but he's, he's doing orders i think he's up to number in the 30s 35 i don't know what your number is in the books but yours is coming i don't know if this is spoken for this uh phase on so I mean, it's a prototype, so I don't know. Somebody's going to get it, right? Or maybe Jason's going to hold on to it. But, uh, yeah, just pretty cool. I mean, just gorgeous. I mean, really, folks, really. I'm digging all the contouring and the shape of the handle. You know, it's uh, very sexy, very classy. The beautiful time mask is backspace. The tolerances. Look at the tolerances, folks. Look at this thing. It's, it's like precision. I mean, it's precise. No play. I mean, no. I mean, this is a new knife maker. I'm just impressed the hell. No wiggle on the flipper. Oh, flip, talk about the flipper. Look at the flipper design. My favorite. Push button style, and you just your finger kind of like just sits over here. I love that. It sits over there, and then it just flies out. 
Nice positive flipping action there. I mean, every single time, it's just, it's sexy. Yeah, I love the, f I love a good flipper tab that's, and it doesn't even need the jimping. It doesn't have any. But I guess because of the design, it just kind of sits there. I don't, I don't even know if I can push button it this way. I didn't even try. Yeah, can. Sweet. Yeah, so push button this way. I just don't want to hit my my uh, camera stand. Yeah, definitely. So you can do it that way. You can light switch it. I mean, just solid, folks. Really solid. Again, I'm just seeing it for the first time. Here's my thing. I want to I want to clean the satin. I mean, it's beautiful. It's my date. Uh, yeah. Pretty cool. It's like science fiction, this thing. Again, he can do any finish. He does everything at home. I don't know if he does it in his garage. I think he said he does it everything in his garage. Internal stop pin. Right? There are guys that still uh, make the uh, stop pin exposed. Apparently his is internal. Like with that crescent cutout where the, the stop pin uh, rides in and out. I mean, you know, you know what I mean. I like that. Pretty cool. Right, guys. I'm just holding it still, so this could be like my still for the vid. <laughs> yeah, um, impressive. Impressive, Jason. I, I literally just got it like a few hours ago. I'm, I am impressed. It's solid. It feels good in hand. Uh, no jimping. I guess you could add jimping if you request it. Uh, again, this is the prototype, so I'm sure there's going to be changes coming down the pipe. Uh, actually, I don't see any jimping anywhere. <laughs> Interesting. But your finger gets locked up by the flipper tab. Um, yeah, and your finger just... Nice design. It just falls right into the grooves of the handle. I mean, it's, just, I mean, it's sad. So it feels... Actually, I want to say this is like the nicest feeling knife I've ever held. <laughs> it's so smooth. Pretty cool. Um, definitely want to thank Greg. Awesome, awesome wreck. Um, that's what's great about the knife community. People recommend things to you. And uh, yeah, thank you, Greg. Good call. Thank you for introducing me to uh, Larevo Knives, folks. And folks, if you don't know Larevo Knives, you don't follow, I'll put the link to his website and to his Instagram. And I think most of his knife sales, in fact, I know a lot of his knife sales ha happened on Instagram. I think he had an open bid on a knife. It only went crazy. It, I think it was one of the fractals. It went for 500 bucks. 500 bucks for a full custom knife. You know, it's just a matter of time before it blows up and then that 500 turns into you know what and then you you wish you got on it. But yeah, I think his knives, if memory serves, start at 600. So absolutely reasonable, folks. There's mid techs out there that cost that much. Just a full custom knife to your specs. Whips. He'll give you whips on Instagram or to your emails. Yes, sir. I am impressed. So the phase on by Larevo Knives, Jason Overall. Check him out. Peace.